welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before i hope you all are doing well these are going to be good messages uh what's coming in your finances the good things coming in your finances for the sign of course if you have taurus placements in your chart this could resonate okay hmm all right nine of pentacles i love it virgo energy this is about independent wealth some of you are maybe starting your own business this could represent self-employment a windfall of abundance just kind of falling into your lap is success is achievements is a reward for the efforts that you've been putting in finding your financial independence here setting yourself free financially i love this a life of luxury you got everything you want you don't need anybody else anybody you choose to align yourself with is only there to make things even sweeter all right so we start off with the overall energy of your reading being master the art of outsourcing as well as in-housing all right so that is essentially if you run a business um i mean this could be something affecting a company you work for as well that's basically someone being you know very common sense business owner and figuring out what they can do in-house as opposed to outsourcing meaning if there's a task a duty um, that can be completed by people who work within the company. Why would you spend extra money to work with someone outside of your company? All right, so that's for those of you who are self-employed, because um, obviously you can't control the business you work for if you're not the boss. But if you are self-employed, it's very important for you not to be wasteful when it comes to your money. All right, so let's see what this says. First card, plant your seeds on fertile ground. The key to your success right now is making sound investments mm -hmm, and being patient as they cultivate and create massive returns. Taurus Virgo energy here. All right. That's clarified by the judgment card. Again, some of you are going to have to be very wise in the way that you spend your money um, just in general, but also in your business. So what are you investing your money in? Make sure you're making sound investments here with the judgment card. It's all about you following your higher calling here. It's all about you making... Um, decisions after you really think it through okay not any hasty decisions that's libra energy all right so we have transaction complete done deal secure the bag i told you some of you are either getting some some good news as it relates to a business that you own maybe um some type of growth and expansion in your business or maybe even for those of you who work for other people going to the next level in your career getting some type of um raise or promotion or increase in pay that's clarified by the knight of cups some of you i do feel like i just feel people kind of like vying for your services vying for your employment if you are an employee i feel a lot of opportunities coming your way and it's going to be up to you what you choose obviously this is about following your heart but choosing wisely don't take on anything that you know that you don't really feel is for you. Some of you are art, you know, artistic. You could be in the beauty industry. I don't know. Your imagination may have a lot to do with what it is that you do for a living, how you make your money. But there is some very good money coming in here. You just have to make sound investments. Then we have renewed faith in your abilities and follow your higher calling. You already got that here with the judgment card. It just said that. And that's clarified by the lovers. So this card can represent a partnership with someone you're in a relationship with some of you may be in business with your partner here others of you i feel like this is about you finding some kind of balance here it's about making a choice um this is about you following your higher calling and it's clarified by the lovers which is about a choice where you can't have two things at once some of you are going to have to definitely listen to your instincts and make a decision here like i told you Follow your heart, but make sure it's, it's connected to your higher calling because you can't have, there's going to be two opportunities that you have, two or more. I told you that here. Two or more opportunities coming your way, but you're going to have to make the decision that works best for you. You're not going to be able to take everything. And that may be your challenge. Too many good things to choose from, which is a good problem to have. But let's get some of these. Get one of these and um, two more cards and we'll be done. Thank you, Spirit. We have, have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength. As is accepting it is, as is accepting it, as it is offered to you. Lord. Okay. Very often when you, when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give to others as you are guided. Okay. 
So reciprocity is important. Being able to accept help just as, as you know easily as you give it out is very important right now. This card again is about financial independence. Don't be so independent that you don't accept help from other people. All right, let's get one of these. Even where we started, master the art of outsourcing as well as in-housing. What can you use help with and what can you do by, by yourself? All right, so we have the vine and the fence. I set healthy boundaries. My inner self is supported by firm boundaries that protect me. I am a vine that grows to my highest height on the fence of healthy boundaries. Okay, so boundaries are important for you right now. I do feel like I just keep hearing don't be wasteful. Stop throwing money out the window. I hear I don't know what y'all are doing, but it's possible that you are spending money unnecessarily that you don't need to spend. And that's for whether you own a business or not. Something about you just making sure that you set healthy boundaries with yourself when it comes to your expenses. Also in your relationships, especially your professional relationships, which is maybe why you're doing a lot of it by yourself. Let me get one of these and we will be done. This is going to be most likely for those of you who own a business, um, although it can resonate for anyone. We have a line. So your advice is stay in alignment with your core values and your vision for the lifestyle you want to create with your business. Okay. Um, this is a puzzle here. I feel like I just, I just hear spirit telling you that you don't need to follow the crowd. Something about you just being uniquely you is very important right now. Do what works for you. Don't compare your, you know, your journey to other people's journeys. Don't get off course by, you know, focusing on somebody else's blessing, somebody else's vision. Keep it all in line with what you feel for yourself. All right. What works best for you? Those are your messages, Taurus. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if this resonated. And I will see you all tomorrow for your final reading of the week. Peace.